on the Edit and Articles category page. The top right, we've got Save. We can save and close. We can save and new. This is going to close, uh, save the item and put us in a, a new blank one. We'll click that button now and we'll see what that does. So now we save the one we were just in. We've got a new one. Now we can call them new category. And we can edit our alias here. We can let the system generate it for us. We can give it a parent item or no parent item. We can go to status and say published, archived, or trashed. We can set the permissions for this specific category um, component here, allowing different user groups to have access to it or not. Uh, normally, if you don't have a, a number of different access groups, um, this may or may not be uh, relevant to you. Uh, but at the top level on the category manager, you can set the permissions for the entire category manager as well. And down here, you would override them, um, unallowing or disallowing groups to edit categories. Uh, you want to add a description for your specific category. Over on the over on the right, we can uh, select a user to add who this category was created by. There's some basic options here. We can change the layout for the specific category when it shows up. Do we want it to show up as a blog or a list, or just simply use the global settings? We can add an image for this category, and we can add a note uh, if we've made changes to it or whatnot. On the metadata options, we can add a unique meta description, and we can add our keywords, put in an author, and edit the robots file as well. On the, again, on the top right, we've got save and close, got save and new, and we have cancel. So if we simply hit um, save, now you'll notice that we've got a save as copy as well. So the significance of this is that um, if, if we're popular, if we're attempting to create a lot of different types of categories, we can say, um, in let's say we were putting a bunch of different subcategories inside demo content as the, the parent. We could say new category in here, and we want to save again, save as copy. And so now we've got another copy of it inside the demo content, and so we can quickly populate subcategories just by getting rid of this here. We could rename this all together. Um, newer category. And, boy, that's a horrible job typing, isn't it? Um, edit our alias here. And leave it in... All the settings stay the same, basically, um, for this specific one. And when we hit Save as Copy, it's going to copy it and keep all those settings. So when we um, save and close, now we're, you notice that we put, we're able to put these into uh, the demo content. So we're able to quickly populate um, areas by using that Save and Copy feature. But it doesn't show up um, by default. So uh, I mean, when you hit Save, uh, and stay in the item, it will then generate that save as copy button for you so you can quickly populate um, subcategories and whatnot. Thanks.